Hey everybody, welcome to a bright and sunny day at SeaWorld, Florida. We haven't been to SeaWorld in a minute. Actually, we haven't been to SeaWorld in probably like five minutes. I apologize for the wind, it is a very blustery day. But we're out here at SeaWorld because today is the first day of the Seven Seas Food Festival, or Seven Seas Food, Music, Awesomeness, Beer, Craft Beer, all kinds of stuff festival. And we actually renewed our passes uh, around Thanksgiving, but we hadn't been back to the park to actually get hard tickets or come back around. We didn't come at Christmas time because the Christmas stuff this year was very duplicative of prior years. So I wanted to come around and check everything out. No dolphins today. SeaWorld has one of the greatest souvenirs for guests. It's a towel and it's five bucks. Don't forget to bring a towel. Now you're gonna say, why is a towel a good souvenir? It is so hot here. You need to be walking around with some type of towel or at least some type of cooling device. I absolutely walk around, especially to any of the sporting events or anything outside here at the parks with some type of towel. First stop for us, Cricket Can has a booth. And we've gone to Cricket Can in the past. I think it's out in Winter Garden. I always get those confused. Winter Springs, Winter Garden, but they have High Stepper, Mr. Tracker, and McSwaggers. And we're going McSwaggers. Oh yeah. Here's the shoe test. <laughs> and now we're in Mexico. These are the offerings in Mexico. I asked Mary if she wanted escuetas. She said no. She's walking away from me. Magnetized to rum and tequila. The Italian offerings. We've got lasagna. You got a cannoli. I'll make you a nice caprese salad. I'll eat the caprese salad and the cannoli. So it's interesting to warm things up and cook. They just have these bricks out here with sternos underneath them in the grill. Here's the cannoli. Cannoli is very good. Very good. Or as my professional opinion, it's real good. It's real. That guy's hat looks like my carpet from the 70s. Next up is All-American Market with the bacon hot dog slider is what we're gonna get. Topped with creamy coleslaw, onions, and spicy mustard. And for drinks, they have Duke's Cold Nose, Killer Whale. Both of those are really good. I like Killer Whale a lot. But I'm gonna get Jack Daniels Cowboy Punch. This is the hot dog slider. It looks, it looks ridiculous. It looks like a picture. That's the Cold Nose Brown Ale. And this is the Cowboy Punch. You know, when you drink this, it's almost like, you can say, it's like a cowboy way. We love them and leave them. It's just a cowboy's way. That is very fruity and smoky. It's very good. Kind of like a sour taste. <laughs> That's good. Now I've had this before. I enjoy it a lot. It's very good. It's real good. Now we gotta eat this guy with a knife and fork. There's no way I'm picking this up. Vegan market with the impossible meat slider and avocado corn tostadas. Also a nutty butter protein bar. And they've got pear cider and black cherry. Mary has the black cherry. Is it good? It's very good. Better. It's good. Not that sweet. Right, I'm going to try the Florida Avenue lager. This is the Florida lager. like dry. I like it. It's got an interesting spicy note in there. Yeah, it tastes like champagne. In the Mediterranean market, they have sea scallops, grilled lamb chops, which we had last year and they were very good, Mediterranean couscous salad, and dark chocolate Guinness mousse. That sounds crazy. The specialty drink is an ouzo lemonade. That sounds amazing. Sharks. Oh. This guy is like mammoth. You can ride on top of him. 
It's like Aquaman's best friend. Oh, it's a race! Birds. Birds. Those puffins? That guy is super cool. I love the colors on him. He almost looks like he has fur instead of feathers. Hey, guy. Oh, he's got blue eyes. How are you doing? Oh, watch your fingers. Are you trying to tell us something? You want to escape? <laughs> Sharks. Long before dinosaurs were birds. Before humans, there were sharks. Check it out, that eel is active. Usually they're just like laying around when we come around here. Yeah, you like these, huh? We're going in. The only light comes from the back there. Other glowing wow. creatures. Do you know how many teeth that shark has? No. A lot. Uh -oh. Like the faint electrical signals given off by all living animals. Even stingrays buried under the sand give off an electric current. <laughs> Sharks usually hunt things that are sick, dying, or dead. By stopping the spread of diseases, Sharks keep the ocean and people healthy. Number one rule of survival when you are sharing the sea with sharks? Cardio. <laughs> At the North Atlantic Market, they have New England lobster roll, bacon and cheddar hush puppies, and poutine and banana foster cheesecake. And their specialty drink is a Riptide. They also have Big Nose IPA, Midnight Oil, and Wild Night from Swamphead. These are what the food items look like. This is the Riptide. It's spice rum, lime, blue carousel. A little quarter like drinks that you get or you used to get at the delis like a nips or something barrel. like that or whatever like little barrel of fruit things or like an ice pop when it's not frozen hush puppies mm. not as dense as a regular hush puppy does too like a bacon ball <laughs> that's really real good oh it's an alligator photo op Infinity Falls is closed for annual maintenance. I don't think it's even been open a year. I think it only just opened last fall. But there you have it. We're going in the Top Secret Pass Member Lounge, which is located behind Infinity Falls in the restaurant. Oh no, Thanos got here. And here you go. Unlimited free soda. Lots of tables and chairs inside here. Places to eat. You can order food from the restaurant here too in this touch screen and put a number on your table and they bring it to you. At the Pacific Coast, you can get a Baja fish taco, teriyaki beef and avocado salad, also a salmon burger slider, or tres leche parfait. And the specialty drink is the West Coast Festival Sangria. They also have Mackenzie's Original Cider, which is really good. It's black cherry is delicious. We get that usually at home. And the Three Daughters Beach Blonde is one of my favorite beers.
at the German Pavilion. We have Wiener Schnitzel Slider, Knockwurst, Pretzel Wrap Bratwurst, and a chocolate dipped foot long pretzel. A chocolate dipped foot long pretzel. And also a frozen German chocolate cake as a drink. This is what the samples look like. Look at those chocolate dipped pretzels. That is ridiculous. This is frozen chocolate cake in a cup. Ooh. Oh, this is good. Good. It's like a color. Like yeah, like Bailey's. Something like that. Mm. We're coming up on the soon to be Sesame Street. Now, uh, SeaWorld had a media event here about a week ago where everybody was issued like a Sesame Street character type hard hat and you basically looked at the construction of the area. But this is what we can see today buildings. This is what construction's looking like from the back over by Shamu Stadium looking in. I'm excited about the Sesame Street area coming. I mean, I'm not a kid, I don't have little kids anymore, but I know this is gonna be a great area for kids. Great partnership to build on. I love that Grover is a little more adult lately. He's peppering in some adult phrases and keywords. Yes, yes, that sounds like an excellent idea. I can hear the Frey doing sound check from here. Uh, Frey is the musical act tonight. Sugar Ray is tomorrow. SeaWorld concerts. The lineup is phenomenal this year. We're actually gonna be back here in a few weeks for a 90s lineup that includes Tone Loke, Young MC, and Vogue whole bunch of other people, kid and play. I'm really excited about that show. This booth has jambalaya, shrimp po' boys, crawfish, and lobster cheesecake. Lobster cheesecake? Soundcheck is on. This is the full lineup for this year. It's a Sugar Ray tomorrow, like I said. Flow Rider, February 23rd, 98 Degrees, Life House. A lot of bands that have been at Disney and have been at Universal come over here. Mark, Brett Michaels this year, we saw him last year at Bush Gardens on Tampa, but we are going to, I love the 90s very much, very much looking forward to that. Sound check going on a long time, pretty cool. Well, you got it for like 2.5 seconds. At the Asian market with country music in the background, they have Peking Duck Lo Mein, Char Su Bao, Bing Su Salted Vanilla Ice Cream, and they also have skewered pork wrapped in bacon. Their specialty drinks, Frozen Lagoon Punch, and Sparkling Pear, non-alcoholic. This looks really pretty. At the Brazilian market, we have Brazilian Pecana Steak, Bacon Wrapped Sweet Plantains, and Mousse de Maracua. And then new is Akarahe? I don't even know what that is, I'm gonna be honest. It's Brazilian black eyed peas and shrimp fritters. And then Pau de Cuejo. Oh, that's cheese bread. Okay. Spanish is okay at times. And then there's other things that I'm just completely lost on. And then Mary wants to get that frozen drink. These are the items. Here's our items. The plantains look ridiculous. I can't wait to eat that. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm a lover of plantains and tostones, and all that stuff. This is not very good. I do not like the flavoring that's in here. The sauce that's on here is a guava horseradish sauce, and I think that might be what's making it a little bit more tangy or sweet. I don't like the way that it meshes with the taste of the plantain and the bacon. Mary got the. A karahe. I'm butchering that, I'm sure. What do you think? It's no. Great place. There's an area over here for Jack Daniels cocktails. And then we've got Full Sail Brewing, V Twin beer over there. 
And the sweets market. These are the options for the sweet booth. A donut ice cream sandwich, loaded mini donut bites, which is what we're getting, or a baker's dozen of warm cinnamon and sugar mini donuts. Here she is cutting the donut in half. Right next to the little mini donuts. That's them making the ice cream sandwich. And they're making all of the mini donuts fresh right here. The batter pouring into the oil. Oh my goodness. This is the loaded mini donuts. Oh my god. At the Florida market, they have a shrimp cake, wild boar smoked cheddar sausage, shrimp mac and cheese, and key lime pie fritter. Jamaica is next to Cuba, but in Jamaica they've got the beef patties, goat stew, conch salad. Cuba, they have a Cuban slider with plantain chips and mojo, cinnamon slow roasted pork belly and coconut flan. I'll tell you what, it looks good, it looks real good. In Puerto Rico, they have mofongo and basalitos. Oh man, the mofongo is real small though. They have a DJ out here, it's a party in the USA. You can get mojitos or Cuba Libres over there. Mary got goat stew, curry goat stew. Mary got curry goat stew. Any good? I'm going with the basic beef patty. All right, so we're gonna get out of here. Um, Seven Seas, really awesome food event. I love the food, I'm so stuffed right now. <laughs> I am so stuffed I wanna lay down on the floor and just take a nap. <laughs> Me too. So I don't think that we were very clear earlier because I think we gloss over since we've been here so often. Um, you can buy things individually at each of these booths or you yes. can buy lanyards with um, passes, you know, or tickets or punches to be able to get uh, for each food or drink item and you get a sample size and the passes vary. I think they have like a 10 20 10, I, I, they, no, I think, I think they like, have like a 10 15 they have a 10 punch hole then they have a 15 and 20 We're not reading this off of a media sheet. Obviously, no, we're not I'm here for a media remember. day <laughs> The best value though for pass holders is we got this 20, 20 punch card. ticket for 65 $65 now if you're not a pass holder you get 15 for but if you're past holder, you get 20. Yeah, so you get a little perk. You get five more samples. Yeah. So you figure generally the items are probably like six bucks or so a piece, but when you're getting on the, the punches, yeah. it comes out to like three bucks, four bucks, or something like that. So you're getting a discount significantly when you're getting the punches. And there is so much more, I think, to have at SeaWorld. And I think we've said this before, and I think some folks get hurt or upset by the comparison. Sorry about the wind. <laughs> I think that there's a bigger selection at SeaWorld and Busch Gardens for their food events yeah. and a better selection at SeaWorld and Busch Gardens for their food events than you get at the other big parks like uh, Disney parks and the Universal parks and everything. So it's really, I mean, it's awesome. We're not staying for the fray. We watched the sound check. We'll be back in a few weeks for the 90s show and mm -hmm. check we'll out music at that food. point. In case you're keeping track at home, we used 17 punches today on our card too, so that was a lot, but we shared one card between us. Yeah. But we're gonna get out of here. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.